I felt very edgy during those months. Like I was very, um, like uh, some days I wouldn't even get out of bed because I'm like, you know, I'm feeling so weird that I'm just, I'd rather not really relate to anyone today. I'm just gonna be in silence all day. I was so concentrated on, yeah, I work in the industry, I work in service, I've been a bartender, I've been a cook, I've been a manager, I've been this, I mean, then what else can I do there? And then this other thing opens up. Six times three. Amelia. And she goes, 18. 18. Like, what? I feel happening? like there's, there's something so pretty about teaching. I even noticed that my, my voice changes when I teach. That's one of your favorite ones. Right before the pandemic, I was about to open a restaurant on UC Berkeley. We were all hands-on, ready to go. We we're going to have a big party, everyone on campus. And then on March 12th, they sent us all home for two weeks. And uh, the longest two weeks ever. I wasn't like on their payroll, so I didn't have access to the payroll protection program that later was given onto them. And even though I had some savings, it was like, okay, I was not ready for this, you know? And then when that paycheck stops coming and then maybe your migratory status doesn't grant you access to funds from the government, then you're pretty much screwed. You don't have any more funds. And this was not the time that you could be like, oh, I'm gonna ask some help from my parents in Chile back home. Maybe they can send them. They're doing even worse over there. The government kept saying like, yeah, you're gonna get money, you're gonna get money, you're gonna get money. And there were all these like sources for applying for funds. Like, oh, if you're a Latino, apply here. If you're a bartender, apply here. If you're in the service industry, apply here. All together, like, I mean, this is like filing like 15, 20 forms in one day or one week. It kind of like gets you on a weird point or like, wait, so I have to keep on validating this. Like, okay, I'm, yes, I'm Latina. Yes, I'm woman. Yes, I'm divorced. Yes, I don't have children. Yes, I'm like, Ah, I don't, you don't need to remind me all these things, I know it. Um, so that was very overwhelming. I learned a lot of things during this pandemic, uh, unwillingly or unknowingly, unknowingly, okay, so that, that's the word. Those Zoom meetings that I was having at the beginning of the pandemic were for drinking. We were meeting up with my friends in Chile, having fun, you know, I mean, it was good reconnecting with a lot of people, but also if you look at like hindsight, it's like having that feeling of like collective loneliness was like, oh my God, we're all so alone. We're collectively alone. I learned how to be with myself. Even though I've been living by myself for a long, long time, I learned how to be with myself. So I started nourishing more the relationship that I had with the closest living beings that I had in my house, which are my cats. My work life took a turn completely because I went from being a chef and a restaurant manager to being a elementary school teacher, pretty much. At the beginning, it was Spanish tutoring. That's how they got me. It's like, we need a Spanish tutor for this pandemic pot school. And I'm like, what the hell is a pandemic pot school? I remember my first day, I was very nervous. I had massive panic attacks and like anxiety attacks. It was like, oh my God, am I ready for this? 
Dígame. Por supuesto. Pregúntale a la maestra qué hora es la, la prueba. I teach girls ages 7 through 11. And it's very the opposite of being in a kitchen. Kitchen is dangerous. And this is completely the opposite. This or nice and cute girls there's nothing sharp around you everything is safe everything is pink and wonderful and before i knew it i was already like too committed into this thing i already was in love with all the girls their faces their smiles the sound of their laughter just want to mm! i love them i i just absolutely adore them Está bien. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, it's a tu first attempt. Yeah. I like to learn a little bit of everything. And sometimes, like, I stop working because I want to study or like I'm traveling or whatever. But I think that my capability, my adaptability, I think, is not capability, my adaptability, I think that's like a personal resource. I feel like this is this education thing, the the children, the the uh, all the coaching, everything that they can learn from you, everything that you can teach them, that that they're, that's important, that that you can be part of. It's just it's so beautiful. Why wouldn't I be want? Why wouldn't I want to be part of that? Like, it's awesome. Right now, it's just like, where's my next source of, source of income gonna come from? Like, um, you know, my, my work is supposed to end on June 5th. That's the end of the semester. And then I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I have a few ideas. I have kind of something in plan, but it's still up in the air. And that kind of keeps me up at night sometimes, not knowing kind of what's gonna happen.